In this video, I want to showcase NodeHive, the eco-conscious headless CMS. So I want to edit content on the roadmap page because there is a short type, a small typo in the content. For this, I go to the NodeHive backend, I log in. And after I logged in, I see a dashboard. And since NodeHive can serve multiple frontends or what we call spaces, I first have to select that space. So I go there. Um, now I'm on the space dashboard and I see all the navigation elements. I see all the content that was created for that specific page and I could create new content above. But for now, I want to use the space visual editor. The space visual editor shows a preview of the website and I can browse it as if it's in the normal browser, basically. So now I go to the roadmap page and then I look for that specific um, paragraph. I click it and then I can immediately edit in a sidebar and hit save and it will automatically out up, update your changes immediately. So I showed you now how you can edit content. Now I want to add new content. So let's say I want to have a block section in the navigation. So I go back to space dashboard. I first have to create a base page, I call it block. I can also select a teaser image. So let's select the main logo of NoteHive. And then I want to first show a header, our block. And then I have to select a visual variant for that. For this, I will select Hero 1, and I'm also selecting a image there. And then as a next section or paragraph, I add the article list, basically the block list. Here I cannot configure anything more, except just saying I want here to the article list to appear. Then I also want to add a newsletter form so people can potentially sign up to the blog. So I also select newsletter form, newsletter, sign up. So then I hit save. And now you see the page is in draft mode. And now I want to also publish it. Before that, I also have to set the navigation point. I forgot that. So I go to menu, I provide a menu link. And I want the menu, the block to be appear on the Node Hive app main navigation. So I select this one. So I hit save, publish it. And now if I refresh the site, <clears throat> it appears up here. And the block section is now here, our block, the article list, and also the newsletter sign up. Of course, now I can back, go back to the visual editor and I can start improving my content. For example, learn more about Node Hive blog. So I hit save and it's immediately updating the content. I can also change the visual variant. So for example, I can change it to a simple two column layout. So I hit save and it's immediately refreshing. So I can really try out what visual element I want there. And so I like actually this one. Okay, we have two news here and now the newsletter. I want to change that. Um, sign up to get the latest news about Hive. So I created this page within, uh, I don't know, one, two minutes. Super simple, super easy to use. And that's the power of Node Hive Headless CMS. Now I want to show you rather quickly the dashboard. There is many stuff I can show you, but the dashboard offers a glimpse into the content that is that you created on the on the Node Hive instance, whether it's spaces, whether it's existing articles, you see recent Kanban activities. So I want to show you the key feature calendar. So here you have the opportunity to plan content ahead. So let's say you plan a series of blog posts. You can do that by just going to add and then create a new article, new article one. 
And then I also want it to appear in the Node Hive app space. So I hit save. See it's immediately there. Then I can create a new article too. Hit save. And then what's also cool here, you can reschedule. So you could say, well, this is way too intensive. I want to reschedule it to uh, multiple, um, let's say every Wednesday in a month. You also have a Kanban view. So for example, here are my articles I just created. And depending on your workflow, how it's set up, you could add a draft or editing or ready to publish state. And then you have the publish state and then you can add an improved state, whatever you want to do. So that was a short demo about NodeHive and we are excited to um, see how you're going to use it. Uh, get in contact. We are here to help you if you have any question about pricing, about how to install it and also build the front end. Um, yeah, you can contact me through email or um, yeah, any way on social media the way you want. Thank you very much for your interest and have a nice day.